Ladies and gentlemen, today I would like to present to you We are resorting to violence So you may be wondering how I made my own Wii U game Well, let me tell you This project required me to look into high-level physics, vector math, Nintendo's developer website, and ancient internet archive posts that combined to create this crazy project. To tell the tale of this massive project, we need to set the stage. Why is this not easy anymore? Well, back in 2018, Unity discontinued support for the Nintendo Wii U. This actually made a ton of sense, mainly because nobody really liked or bought the Wii U, and because its bigger, better brother was being scalped on the black market. This decision ultimately killed Wii U development, and you can't really keep code working for much longer after it's discontinued. However, as a nerd looking to justify the money I spent on an addiction, I wanted to use my Wii U for some other purpose. That is when I discovered that people can make Wii U games in homebrew. Most people use it for illegally obtained content, but I wanted to try and put my code onto the Wii. When working with something that I've never used before, I will try and use a game that I can do from scratch. Mainly, I will use the Unity default Rollaball tutorial, because I can do it off the top of my head, and you can apply some really cool things to it, like motion controls or just buttons. After we prove it's possible, I can then move on and build the big project. So let's get started. To make our own Wii game, we first need to install Unity. But not just any version of Unity, we need to figure out how to make Unity work with the Wii U again. I did some quick googling and found that one of the first results was from the Internet Archive. Someone had uploaded a version of Unity that supported the Wii U, and they provided instructions on how to set it up. Of course, I didn't read them, downloaded the file, and started installing all of the programs. And it just worked. It opened up, I created a Unity project, and I threw together my Rollaball prototype. I then added accelerometer data from the remote and some complicated physics equation that will track the rotation and that can then tell the ball where to move. If this works, this is the perfect game to start with because now I have the Wii Remote working in Unity. All we need to do is build it and throw it on my emulator. It turns out that the Wii doesn't show up in the build menu. Yeah, reading the instructions might be a good idea. This is where Nintendo comes in. They have all of the files that are required to build to the Wii U. However, I don't have them, and one of the most important ones is something called the Cafe SDK. I did some googling, and it turns out that only Nintendo has the SDK. But then it dawned on me. Could I just get it from Nintendo? This is the Nintendo Developer website, and it's completely free to sign up. And once you do, you get access to almost all of the files you need to make a ton of different games. For me, I was able to get the Cafe SDK, throw it onto my computer, shuffle around some files, and... It let me build! I immediately opened up my project in Simu, the Wii U emulator and it launched without a problem. However, I quickly noticed that my Wii Motion Plus controller didn't work. I knew that other parts of the Wii controllers worked, like the buttons, but I wasn't getting the data from the Wii Motion Plus extension. Without this, I can't test my game unless I installed it directly on the Wii U. We now have two options. Either one, I install this program that will then deal with it, or two, we go figure out how to install a Wii U game now and then just always test the game on the actual hardware. While it may be harder to do, this may be the best option, as then if we can get this to work, we can just work on We Are Resorting to Violence the rest of the time. 
Let's try this. He's working. Okay, you're on. Okay. Okay. So. No. Nah. At your game. Maybe. No. <laughs> yes. Oh. Okay. Um. <laughs> It has no name, no cover, no nothing. Cool. Launch. There's no way this works. There's no way this works. Oh no. Come on. Come on. You can do it. Show me that ball. And like a stick. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Hold up. Huh? Is that... Okay, okay, um, um... Okay, okay, okay. Before I prove this, we're gonna go home, uh, close the software. So, right now, we need to prove that not only is it on the Wii for real, but it has motion controls, which uh, is this one. This one should connect. Oh, yes, it connected, perfect. Get out of get out of here. All right. Okay, there. We'll open up. Me Maker. This out of the way. Okay. 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 Roll a ball. Just right there. It's already here. All right. All right. All right. Whew. <laughs> Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can go. You can load. Oh my gosh. <laughs> this is crazy. There it is. Okay. We remote, connect. No connection, huh? Don't, don't do this. Wait. Whew. Okay, it's setting one player. That's positive movement. That's better than before. <laughs> oh. This is stupid. Oh. Oh, that's so cool. I don't even care that it doesn't work, really. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's the numbers now. So that wasn't there in Simu. Yeah. Remember that? Seven hours ago? And those numbers weren't in Simu? Yeah, yeah, I do too. It was seven hours. It was at, no, it wasn't seven hours. It was 7 a.m. Well, when was 7 a.m.? 11.20, 5, plus 11, 16, 16 hours and 20 minutes. I just want to play Wii, man. Okay, I'm going to bed. Now we have the power to upload any game we want to my Wii U, including ones that we make ourselves. Now we can do what we came here to do a couple days ago. There are two major sources for this project. This Tumblr post was made by NBreezy, 
and this YouTube video by Jenny Collects. Between these two, we can create an alternate timeline where Nintendo created this game. And for us to recreate it, we need to make the main menu and the four games from the box cover. Those include Swordplay, Wakeboarding, Archery, and Air Sports. I would also like to recreate the logos and have them play at the beginning with a warning to the player. I would also like to make the gun extension that should come with this game. With my requirements set, I decided to make a new project and immediately start working on the main menu. This included me rebuilding the main menu graphics from scratch in Illustrator and animating the main menu to look like how it does in the real version. Before I add the controls to the main menu, I want to have Woohoo Island working so that way it looks complete. And the way I'm going to do this is steal it from the internet. After some light searching, I found a model by Nilib on Sketchfab, and it was perfect for everything that I needed. With Woohoo Island now in my game, I need to add the controls. In the Rollerball project, I actually figured out how to control the Wii Remote, but now I want to explain it. Nintendo gives Unity access to a list of packages, and inside of those packages contain example code. They don't do anything, but they do give you the functions that you can use to reference the buttons, the controllers, the accelerometers, pretty much everything you'd ever need for Wii U development. The only problem is, it doesn't give any real-world examples, it only gives you the basics. So we need to be able to figure out how to apply buttons and accelerometers and gyroscopes and all of the extra features that we need to use for this project. We can start with the pointer, as this is one of the most important aspects of the remote. We are going to use this technology in multiple games and on the menu to be able to select things or even to just play the game itself. This is the pointer code that I wrote for the main menu. What it does is it takes the value from the Wii Remote, then I scale it by some screen size, and then we can apply that to the canvas. Once we do that, mathematically, it should work. I spent a little time polishing it up for the Wii and adding some button support with the basic code, and this is the main menu on the Wii U. So. We are resorting to violence. Let's do this. Next. All right. There you go. <laughs> All right. And then I should be able to, with some, a little bit of that. There we go. It's a little laggy. It's a lot laggy. Those bodies do not help. Okay, both work, A, B. Okay, and now we need to add the screen selection. Oh, I was hoping I can get away with all those bodies. All right, well, let's move on though. Other than the self-inflicted lag, we can now go over how I built the mini games, and we are gonna start with sword play. I was able to use the same game world from before, and I made some tweaks, and then I set up the cameras so that way it would be a split screen system just like the original game. Now, we can add the code from Rollaball and we can make it so much better by using physics. The idea is that we take the gyroscope data from Wii Motion Plus and we take the accelerometer data from the basic Wii Remote and then we can combine them in a monster mash to create a more accurate Wii Remote, removing the problems from the past. Two player, perfect. So basically what we wanna test now is can the game run two player co-op with sword play? Ha ha. All right, there we go. So we are working on sword play. Oh. Okay, player one's backwards. Player two is perfect. So, as you can see, I can move my sword around as player two. Wow, that feels great. We got a negative, or maybe just flip player one. And then I think the only other thing we want to do is how do we get these two things to hit? And then how do we make them fall off? Because 
I would really like this to be a game game and not just like a tech demo. I want it to be the game. And the game I shall have. The way I fixed this is I flipped the numbers for player one, and then I immediately gave both of them rigid bodies. So when they hit each other, they just knock each other around. This way, it's still pretty simple, and I can move on to the other games that I want to work on. Next up on the list is Archery. I wanted to take a different approach from the cover, and I wanted to make a four-player shooting game where you shoot the Miis. So I stole a map model off the internet, and the code from the main menu, and put together a four-player shooting game where each player tries and gets the highest score. Button. <laughs> Next up on the list was to make the Wii gun. I threw the file and the filament onto the printer and let it run. With that finished, I decided to run a full playtest of the game from what I had so far. Okay, so we need to figure this out. What we need to fix. So, it's okay. I want to make a list of all the things I've done wrong, basically. And kind of get a feel of what's happening, get a check-in. Later today, I'm gonna to get everyone to play, all my friends. So I just wanna see what I think's wrong and see if I can fix any of that. The goal right now is to just fix any issues I come across and uh, make it better in general. It's been since November. I wanna cry. New from Holy Shit. Ah. Uh, That. Here it is. <laughs> it's so good. Alright, first up we'll do is archery, which means I need my newly acquired gun. <laughs> this is so stupid. Oh, that's perfect. too much. Yep, perfect. Two players working. The gun's easier to aim, actually. Which is funny. Oop. Die. Cool. Alright, not bad. Is that the right button? Yeah. Alright, let's reset. What do you know? Alright. Next up, let's try out swordplay. One switch. One player left. Perfect. Player one. They don't even do anything to each other. That's not helpful at all. This one needs a lot of work. Hmm. Well, that kind of sucks. Oh, is it not letting me reset on this one? Oh, all right. We'll reset this way. All right. What else needs to be done then? Um, well, I guess we can try air sports because I did a little bit of air sports, but that's not much. All right. So, last thing last is air sports. <laughs> this is horrible. Oh, uh, it's funny. All right. So, the goal of this one is, well, to fly a plane around and shoot targets, but I have... I don't know why this one has problems. Uh, my other one doesn't have any problems with motion controls, so it's a little awkward. But it is, it is working, technically. <laughs> it's so bad. Oh, it's perfect. All right, I'm feeling good. Uh, actually, it's a Wii remote, so. Oh my goodness. No one step here. Okay. No, it's a paid ad for Windows. We're not giving them free advertisement. Fair enough. Uh, legally questionable, I love it. Uh, the legally questionable ain't the best. <laughs> Scary. Well, yes! <laughs> it does do the music, but it's kind of muted because the projector's broken, as everyone knows. Oh, here. It only does single for the first player, so take this for a second. Anyway. Aim. Yes, I, I, I've been a weed. I hope I was a weird one. There you go. And then you're going to do archery for this one. So do A for it. Oh, uh, I missed! Uh -oh. oh no! What are we gonna do? <laughs> yes! Alright, hold this. 
You're a gun man. Um, gun you're man. military trained. I see a problem with the mark. I like how you use uh, safety trigger finger. <laughs> Wait. Yeah. It, Tyler's second player. Try and hang up the. F Is your remote on? I don't think so. Well, it's on, on, but I don't know if it's connected. Oh, oh. No, wait, you put yours down. Oh, oh, wait, no, no, you're good, you're good. Tyler, There's you're red. Right. Go to the right. Where am I? No. Oh. The center bar is super offset. Yeah, that's Oh, right. oh. Yeah. I lost me again. I did summons? Oh, oh, there we are. No. I'm going to shoot your shooter. <laughs> Tyler's got one point. <laughs> oh, I should be nice. So what do you think? It's great. This is too good. Oh. I spent three months on this. No, he's oh. mine. He's mine. He's mine. No, no, no. Yes! All right, uh, Tyler, hit the plus button. We wait 30 minutes for it to get back to the main menu. <laughs> oh, I thought it froze. No, it, it is. Huh. That's the whole point. I did not code this for performance at all. So we just kind of... Here's another five months optimizing. There we go. There we go. No, seriously, that's probably the next five months is optimizations. Uh, sword play? And then we'll just take the gun off. Okay, the forward button moves forward. Oh man! What and if you need to reset, oh, you're oh shoot! Oh, 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 well, no, I don't care. Look, I have the Wii U gamepad. At this what? Place. Uh oh. All right. It's pretty bad. I don't even have wakeboarding in. All right. Last up is. Oh, it's not done. But do you guys want to see 9/11 Simulator? Uh. <laughs> Legally? No comment. No, no comment. <laughs> Legally? Oh no. <laughs> Hypothetically. Yeah? Well, <laughs> hold up. <laughs> All right, we gotta relaunch this from scratch. You know Microsoft, uh, uh, with the, when the new, uh, <laughs> he can't speak? Uh, when the new uh, flight simulator came out, they'd actually ban users that went to oh New York God. at 2000, yeah, 2001. Didn't, they would just ban them. <laughs> didn't the space, part of the, 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 the space Force just order Microsoft to make a full space sim for them? Oh, I have no that, idea. That's probably, like a honestly, real one. Honestly, probably. You leave it with this? Yeah. Bye. Bye. Thank you for seeing my stupidness. Thank you. I appreciate. Appreciate. <laughs> I didn't realize Olivia would be here. <laughs> is this not loading? Oh, there it is. <laughs> Dude, holy shit. All right. This one, wherever player one went. Uh, right, buddy. Ah, I have it. We'll do what? Uh, where's the sensor? Oh, there it is. Yeah, it's. It, I need a, a longer wire, actually. <laughs> oh, one thing I didn't get was the bridge. Oh, I got a bunch of Mountain Dew in the bridge. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll wait. Wait, Tyler, look at this! That's beautiful. Oh my lord! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a bad person. Oh my god, I didn't even see the Yeah, yeah, I know! <laughs> so, where do we go from here? Well, I think you can see that there's plenty of problems with this project, from just how it looks, to even just programming problems. I truly think that this is one of my favorite projects. Um, it, it almost beats the Skylanders one for me, however, I'm still working on that too. I think what I need to do is take a step back and actually reevaluate what it looks like because I've got a lot of the code that makes it work. And I also know how to make games. I've made plenty of games in the past and I've made games look good in the past, but I need to be able to do that here. But there's also a performance target problem. The Wii's not running things at the correct speed and I need to reevaluate how I'm programming. There are so many things I don't know about Wii development and I'm already three months in, I'm knee deep in this and I don't want to stop. But I also recognize that I have, that I have bit off more than I can chew. Here's my idea. I want to spend the next few weeks tearing this thing apart and building a game the way I normally build games. And retroactively 
put in motion support. What that means is I'm gonna use Unity 2017 to build We Are Resorting to Violence, like I did before. I'm gonna record it like I did before, and we'll do another one of this, another one of these videos. But in that one, we're gonna go over the code behind actually making that and the logistics of making a Wii game because it is genuinely harder than a game gym. I can make a game in a weekend. I can make an archery game in a weekend. It's not that hard. The hard part is how do I make the motion controls work? How do I make it work with this? How do I make it work with the game pad? How do I make it just work? And it doesn't sometimes. There's troubleshooting involved. I got school still and I want to keep going. There's few references out there, but the references that are there are either super helpful or non-existent. Um, Nintendo has been a huge help, actually. I was surprised at, uh, by how helpful Nintendo is. Um, there are people in the homebrew community that build things like this all the time. Um, I think that's the true next step, is can I make this look as good as I feel when I was making this. Because I recognize it doesn't look like a game. It looks like a bad tech demo. Um, but I also know how long it took to make it. Round the clock hours, staying up too late, skipping classes. I, I need it to work. Um, and I need it to look good too. So I'm not taking a break. I'm literally working on the next part now. Um, but I hope you like what I've done so far. And I hope you see where I want to take it. And that original Tumblr post by Enbreezy is so funny. And I want to do it justice. So, well, stay subscribed because I'm finishing it before next month. We're doing this.